Our lead story tonight is from the Northeast. Almost a week since the violent border dispute between Assam and Mizoram, and there seems to be no de-escalation of tensions. Though things at the border remain calm, last night in an unprecedented move, Mizoram filed a case of attempt to murder an assault against the Assam chief minister. Just hours earlier, Assam police had summoned six top officials from the Mizoram side. And today in response, the Assam chief minister says he is ready to join a probe, provided it is done by a central agency. Remember, it all started six days ago when the interstate dispute led to violence on the border, resulting in the death of six people. Now, violence has occurred just two days. This entire episode occurred just two days after Home Minister Amit Shah's meeting with the Northeast Chief Ministers as well. And since then, dispute, claims, counterclaims and advisories have flown. With Chief Ministers battling it out on Twitter, at various other public forums, FIRs being filed on both sides as well. But for the moment, it's a huge embarrassment for the state heads and also for the BJP, unable to resolve the matter between its allies on both sides. It's an unprecedented move by the Mizoram police, an FIR against Chief Minister of Assam, Himanta Biswa Sarma. Days after police forces of both states clashed in the border area less than a week back. Hours later, Himanta Biswa Sharma tweeted, We'll be very happy to join in any investigation, but asked why the case is not being handed over to a neutral agency. <laughs> लेकिन अगर कोई केस रजिस्टर हुआ है तो अच्छा है एनआईए जांच करेगा हिमंता बिस्वा शर्मा his six top officials and 200 unnamed assam police personnel have been booked under serious sections of the ipc including attempt to murder and criminal conspiracy six assam officials have also been summoned by mizoram police so ministry of home affairs intervene and announce the buffer zone and mizoram police also fire back as an act of self-defense. Assam too has filed a case and has already summoned Mizoram MP, one Lalvena and six state officials for investigation. We have been fired, our people killed and they, want, they are filing a fire against us only. So this shows that uh, they want to prove things which is not true. Meanwhile, support is coming in for both sides from rather unexpected quarters. Assam Chief Minister got support from his most vocal critic, activist turned MLA Akhil Gogoi. And a BGP MLA and minister from Meghalaya backed Mizoram stand. Spirit should be there because we have to change here also, public and the police also. If these uh, people of Assam, they keep on harassing our people in the area. While Assam is locked in this tense standoff with Mizoram, the Assam government and Nagaland government have agreed to withdraw forces from the disputed border area in Desoi Valley Reserved Forest. With Ratandeep Chaudhary, Joshua Chin for NDTV. All right, so that was a wrap on what exactly is that update at the moment. Joining us tonight for an interaction is the Minister for State for Law and Parliamentary Affairs in Mizoram. Thank you so much for your time, sir. I just want to start by asking you, we have seen in the past six days escalation. We have seen in the past six days very strong attack on both sides of the border. And now this unprecedented move in which you filed a case against the chief minister altogether. People would say that you are not making any attempt at this point to try and curb tensions. Hello, pardon? The last, the last sentence, please. Sir, can Hello? you hear me now? The last sentence, I can hear. Sir, I want I to understand. I want to understand what the government of Mizoram has done so far to de-escalate tensions. Ah uh, yes, uh, regarding the the escalation, uh, we are trying to we are a peace state under the leadership of our honourable chief minister Puzoram Thanga. Uh, we are trying to. Uh, dissolve this uh, dispute between the Assam and Mizoram uh, with uh, with a table 
to st uh, sit How in the exactly? table and we are proposing uh, for that with uh, with peacefully and without violence so you're saying you're trying to resolve the issue but what we see from your side is a very sort of provocative fir how is that de escalation that escalation that the uh, fir uh, is for finding out uh, uh, justice what the uh, allegation is in both side should be uh, find out from the justice we are find we are asking we are seeking a uh, justice so can i ask you this now because i'm hearing a lot of diplomatic responses from you i'm going to be very candid about that i want to understand from you what has mizoram done so far since in the past 6 days that you can say that you've done your bit you have tried to de escalate issues and tensions from your side yes we are trying to de escalation uh, that uh, now also go ahead sir we can hear you go ahead yeah yeah peace peace keeping then here also we are maintaining peace in mizoram and as well as the outside our neighbor state and within the mizoram also the non mizo people who are also staying there are happy here in mizoram we are not uh, disturb them we are not uh, uh, we are not uh, giving any problem so but we are help them and the standard people who are driver and handyman are also uh, giving their foods here in mizoram for the help of them for the for making them happy here in mizoram right sir but what about your political allies on the other side of the border what have you done to try and resolve issues with them yes we we have tried many times uh, since the government of india under the chairmanship of honorable uh, home in, union home minister uh, the leadership and the chief chief ministers honorable chief minister both side and not the chief minister are discussing about the boundary dispute and uh, boundary they are dispute. discussing you say you saying they are yeah, in they, conversation they, with each other and they are talking because what we are yes, seeing are is talking. fir a case of attempt to yes, murder against the chief that's minister true. that that is that is the consequence upon the uh, ex, uh, illegal action done by the uh, assam Uh, that is the consequence fir is the consequence of the uh, illegal action done by assam but you've named the chief minister you've named the ig the dig 200 other officials in that people would yes. take this as very provocative yes that is uh, we are provoking them because actually uh, they they are they because of their uh, order that uh, that uh, avoidable incident was happened so the justice should be fine uh, with uh, fine by the law Pro from the law we are finding out we are trying to finding out the justice okay let me get a response from you the assam chief minister now says that he is happy to join the pro but he will only do so that unless it is done by a central agency is that something which will be okay with mizoram that's okay uh, we are op we are open we, we are still open uh, fr from the beginning uh, before the fire was uh, uh, started by the assam uh, also we are uh, we are uh, silent on on the boundary issue uh, but uh, and our resilience is knock, uh, knocking the knocking open now so i'm trying so to understand from you sir mm. Would you would Mizoram be okay with a central agency doing a probe in this matter? Is that something yes, acceptable? Okay. Yes, it it will be acceptable that that the the truth is acceptable. If the if the if they are conducting with the truth with, without bias, we are accept. All right, my last question to you, sir. Uh, this is happening against the chief minister who was said to be. one person who really stitched together an alliance in the northeast himant biswas sharma was once seen as the person who stitched together so many alliances in the northeast that led to the present governments being formed there 
a probe like this, an FR like this against him, yes. what does it say about how things are unfolding in the Northeast? That is that the fault is <laughs> the fault is very clear that uh, the innocent people are fired by the uh, Assam first. So the uh, the innocent people, the innocent civilian, are fired by the uh, by, by the Assam government led by the led by their chief minister and IGP and all others. So that uh, the that political things is different on this criminal action, illegal action done by the Assam. All right, sir, thank you so much for joining us tonight and uh, giving your thoughts. Uh, but that is the Minister for State for Law in Mizoram saying that he's also okay to have a central agency actually probe this entire matter and get to the root cause of what exactly unfolded exactly six days ago and who stands at fault over here. Thanks so much yeah. for your time, sir. Let's take it forward with our panel now. We've got uh, Mr. Jonathan joining us. He's a political analyst, supports the Mizoram government. On the other side, we've got uh, Bhaskar Jyoti Gogoi. He's a political analyst from the BJP and is an Assam government uh, supporter on this. Since I've already got a word from the Mizoram law minister over there, uh, let me go into Bhaskar Jyoti Gogoi first. You just heard him. He's saying that they're okay to have a central agency probe this matter. But uh, what's really shocking in all of this is perhaps the fact such a huge embarrassment, uh, wouldn't you say, for the BJP? This is a time when we've it's seen strange. actually BJP... Uh, uh, you know, legislators on both sides of the border being very critical of this matter as well. See, the matter is like that, that uh, these are all legacy conflicts. So in this kind of legacy conflicts, when situation intensifies, there will be some reaction from both ends. And uh, but what happened on the afternoon of 26 July is, is, is a heinous crime, actually. Uh, we never seen before incidents has happened. So vis a vis that now Mizoram government has slapped a case against our CM, which is very unfortunate. And I think it's a very childish behavior on their part, or maybe their political class is very divided because they, there are some dialogues are also going on to resolve the matter for once and all. And at the same time, when the dialogues are going on, we see that the cases are being slapped here and there. So this do not augur well for the for the whole situation. What you're, saying this is what shaking, happened, this, you're saying this is shaking the confidence of the dialogue process altogether while in the middle of that if you have an FIR like that definitely, against the chief definitely, minister. Definitely, definitely. When, uh, when uh, Assam is all set to discuss and there are some uh, major high level, major uh, from the top if they are willing to discuss and suddenly this thing comes up. It also goes uh, have to look at how the Mizoram political situation is. So hmm. is Mr. Joram Tanga or in control or there are other factions there. All right. Oh. Mr. Jonathan, you want to we respond to that? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Sonal. Yeah, uh, no, I, I think in, in terms of the restraint that, uh, you know, the government of Mizoram has, uh, uh, you know, proposed, uh, while Assam government has announced travel advisory to, uh, you know, for Assam people to come to Mizoram, whereas my government uh, they have given a, out a notification for the free movement um, for travel within and outside of Mizoram for non-residents, Mizos as well. But so, your government um, has, has gotten an FIR against the chief minister. Well, uh, as far as my understanding goes, this FIR is instigated by uh, uh, a civilian. It was submitted hmm. on the day of the fateful event on the 26th. Hmm. Uh, a concerned citizen filed this FIR, not hmm. the government, not hmm. the government, right? Isn't isn't it filed by a student group there, which also has political links? I uh, no, I suppose not. As far as my understanding goes, this FIR was filed by an individual and in uh, a concerned citizen. Hmm. Mr. Jonathan, I want to understand from you the entire picture over here on why it's taking so long to actually come to a resolution on this front and why this problem has been and the dispute on the border has been quite has been going on for quite some time. Why things escalated to a level where we've seen loss of life 
and how is it that despite having bjp allies and governments on both sides of the border there is no resolution that is being reached out to with even the home minister looking personally on this matter wouldn't you then say that or would you see this as a failure of how bjp is handling the matter uh well uh, see as we all know the crux of the matter here is that you know uh, assam government has instigated uh, a series of encroachments and this is not the first time so if we look back if we track back the, so so the uh, dispute i understand which, yeah, i i understand right. the dispute is at several points as well it's been going on from 1994 etc i'm talking right. about the political response to this political response yes uh, if you look at all the uh, interviews the statements that has been made out by our honorable chief ministers mm. uh, you know students union the central ymas the biggest ngos you know they are calling every corners mm. of the society we are calling for restraint we are mm. calling for peace we are calling for talks on the table mm. this is what is happening and uh, if you yeah. look at the uh, interviews by certain mlas and uh, yeah. uh, you know the minister of law also said that you know we always welcome discussion discussion on the table we don't mm. want further confrontation mm. we want peace we want tranquility okay let me let me give uh, mr gogoy a chance to respond to that please See, <coughs> if uh, mizoram government or their civil groups are calling for peaceful discussion then why there is so much vitriol in social media why there are so many anti assamese uh, hashtags going on in twitter mm. <coughs> mm. so so their actions say something and their words say something on the national on mm. national tv they say something i know and their actions are different so we have to wait and see how mr joram thanga reacts to it whether he is fully in control of his uh, government mm. or because uh, killing six of uh, Oh, Assam police went by a sister police police organization is something very heinous and nobody said sorry. So hmm. Mr. Jonah, would you say sorry for that? Will there be an apology for that? Oh yes, Because, hmm. ba Baskar ji. Yes, we are absolutely very sorry. We are very very sorry. Our heartfelt condolences goes out to the bereaved families. This is the last thing that we wanted, and 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 these condolences good. has been conveyed right from our honourable chief ministers. to every personnel hmm. this has gone down we are very very sorry but See, if we look at I, how hmm. this took place how hey, mr. that fateful day of 26 right. uh july happened mr jonathan happen? mr jonathan i think okay, we need last, we need last we need 10 to get seconds just, just, we need last to get 10 to seconds please gentlemen i'm running out of time last 10 seconds mr, mr. bhaskar so just trying mr. to complete jonathan, this point mr bhaskar please go ahead mr jonathan we are, we are we all know we are we are having a very fractured relationship right now but this is not gone beyond a point where it cannot be amended so let's wait let's see if mm. uh, our lovelyna porgoha wins the goal let us mm. all celebrate that together and let all the mitu people and assamese people get together on the occasion when it brings the goal to india well Then on we that lovely note on thing. that on that lovely yes. note we really hope the chief minister has also come out and perhaps make a joint statement so that we get some clarity over what exactly is happening yes. for Definitely the moment we, we leave it there forward. gentlemen thank you so much for joining us tonight